friends welcome to the tutorial series on network analysis made simple this is a module wise ele electric circuit analysis paper solution series in this tutorial we are going to solve fit u cbcs scheme electrical circuit analysis questions of module 3 of june july 2017 paper of syllabus 15e32 friends I prefer to emphasize on basic concepts, strategy and thinking process rather than the detailed mathematical steps. I am sure you are well equipped with the relevant mathematical skills required. Hope you will enjoy the travel. Let's go ahead. Friends, first let us solve the question on transient analysis. In this question, we are required to find Vk of 0 plus dvk by dt of 0 plus and d squared Vk by dt square of 0 plus in the circuit shown in figure. Observe the network. The switch K is connected across a capacitor of 0.5 farads. So, Vk is the voltage across the capacitor. Let Vc be the voltage across it. Hence, Vk is equal to Vc. In the problem statement, it is given that the switch K is opened at t is equal to 0 after steady state is reached. What does this mean? The switch might have remained closed before switching for a long time or for an infinite time. So, at t is equal to 0 minus, the circuit elements behave as though they are at t is equal to infinity. Hence, at t is equal to 0 minus, the switch k is closed, c is open and l is short. Incorporating these aspects, the equivalent circuit at t is equal to 0 minus drawn is shown in figure. Observe the network. We see that l0 minus is equal to 2 volt divided by 1 ohm which will give us 2 ampere. Hence, IL0 plus is equal to 2 ampere because inductance opposes the change in current. Further, we see that VK0 minus is equal to 0 as the switch K is across it and it is closed. Hence, VK0 plus is equal to 0. Look, we have already got one answer. Next, to get dvk by dt 0 plus and d squared vk by dt square 0 plus, let us draw the circuit for time t greater than or equal to 0. Note, we have drawn the circuit but not the equivalent circuit. Now, by writing the Kirchhoff's voltage equation for the loop, we get r into i plus l into di by dt plus 1 upon c into integration i dt is equal to v, let it be equation 1. Note, 1 divided by c integration i dt is equal to vc, which is the voltage across c and hence vk is equal to vc. Now, we want dvk by dt 0 plus and d squared vk by dt square 0 plus. So, let us differentiate equation 1. By differentiating, we get equation 2. In fact, the term I by C is dVc by dt or dVk by dt. By substituting for time t is equal to 0 plus, we get equation 3. From equation 3, we get dVk by dt 0 plus is equal to I 0 plus divided by C. Let it be equation 4. By substituting the values of I0 plus and C, we get dVk by dT0 plus is equal to 4 volts per second. Now, to get d squared Vk by dT square 0 plus, by differentiating equation 4, we get d squared Vk by dT square 0 plus is equal to 1 upon C into di by dt 0 plus, let it be equation 5. But we do not know di by dt 0 plus. So, to find it, consider equation 1. 
equation 1 can be written as r into i of 0 plus plus l into di by dt 0 plus plus v c 0 plus is equal to v, let it be equation 1.1. 1 .1. In this equation 1.1, 1 .1, we know i of 0 plus is equal to 2 ampere, v c 0 plus is equal to 0, v is equal to 2 volts and r is equal to 1 ohm and l is equal to 1 Henry. By substituting the values and solving, we get di by t 0 plus is equal to 0. Substituting this value of di by t 0 plus in equation 5, we get d square v k by t t square 0 plus is equal to 0. Hope you have understood it. Friends, next we shall solve another problem on transient analysis. In this question, we are required to find v of 0 plus dv by dt 0 plus and d squared v by dt square 0 plus in the circuit shown in figure. To find v of 0 plus, let us draw the equivalent circuit at t is equal to 0 plus. We know at t is equal to 0 plus, the switch k is open and L also is open. The equivalent circuit at t is equal to 0 plus drawn is shown in figure. Since k is open, 2 ampere current will flow through 100 ohm. So, V0 plus is equal to 100 into 2 which will give us 200 volts. Next, to find dV by dt 0 plus and d squared V by dt square 0 plus, the circuit for t greater than 0 drawn is shown in figure. By writing the nodal equation for node V, we get minus 2 plus V by R plus 1 by L into integration V dt is equal to 0, let it be equation 1. We want dV by dt and d squared V by dt square at t is equal to 0 plus. So, by differentiating equation 1, we get 0 plus 1 by r into dv by dt plus v by l is equal to 0, let it be equation 2. By substituting time t is equal to 0 plus, we get equation 3. By rearranging it, we get dv by dt 0 plus is equal to minus r by l into v of 0 plus. By substituting the values, we get dv by dt 0 plus is equal to minus 20,000 volt per second. To get d square v by dt square 0 plus, by differentiating equation 3, we get 1 by r into d square v by dt square 0 plus plus 1 by L into dV by dt 0 plus is equal to 0, let it be equation 4. By substituting the values, we get d squared V by dt square 0 plus is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of 6 volts per second square. Is it not simple, friends? Friends, next we shall solve very easy problem on transient analysis. In this question, we are required to find I1 of 0 plus, I2 of 0 plus, DI1 by DT0 plus and DI2 by DT0 plus in the circuit shown in figure. To find I1 0 plus and I2 0 plus, let us draw the equivalent circuit at time T is equal to 0 plus. We know at T is equal to 0 plus, the switch K is closed, C is short and L is open as shown in figure. From the figure, we find that I10 plus is equal to 10 volt divided by 10 ohm, which will give us I10 plus is equal to 1 ampere. And I10 plus is 0 since L is open. Friend, we already have got two answers. Now, to find di1 by dt0 plus and di2 by dt0 plus, let us draw the circuit for time t greater than 0 as shown in figure. 
observe the network. By writing the Kirchhoff's voltage equation for loop 1, we get R1 I1 plus 1 divided by C into integration I1 dt minus R1 into I2 is equal to V, let it be equation 1. Similarly, for loop 2, we get plus L into d I2 by dt plus R2 into I2 plus R1 into I2 minus R1 into I1 is equal to 0, let it be equation 2. To get di2 by dt0 plus, consider equation 2. By substituting for time t is equal to 0 plus, we get equation 3. We know R1 is equal to 10 ohm, I1 0 plus is equal to 1 ampere and IT0 plus is equal to 0. By substituting the values, we get di2 by dt0 plus is equal to 10 ampere per second. We got the third answer. Friends, to find di1 by dt0 plus, consider equation 1. By differentiating equation 1, we get R1 into di1 by dt plus I1 by C minus R1 into di2 by dt is equal to 0. Let it be equation 1.1. By substituting for time t is equal to 0 plus, we get equation 1.2. In equation 1.2, we know R1 is equal to 10 ohm, C is equal to 2 microfarads, I1 0 plus is equal to 1 ampere and Di2 by Dt0 plus is equal to 10. By substituting and solving, we get Di1 by Dt0 plus is equal to minus 49,990 amperes per second. Hope you have understood it. Friends, next we shall solve at another problem. This time it is to find the expression for V2 for time t greater than 0 in the circuit shown in figure. Friends, to make the solution simple, it is better if we reduce the circuit to the left of x1 and x2 using Thevenin's theorem. Observe the network. We find that V Thevenin is equal to 3 volts divided by 10 plus 5 ohm, which is the current through 5 ohm into 5 ohm, which will give us V Thevenin is equal to 1 volt. Very simple, isn't it? Next, by short circuiting 3 volt source, we see that 10 ohm and 5 ohm are in parallel. Hence, R Thevenin is equal to 10 into 5 divided by 10 plus 5, which will give us R Thevenin is equal to 10 divided by 3 ohm. By incorporating V Thevenin is equal to 1 volt and R Thevenin is equal to 10 by 3 ohm, the circuit drawn is shown in figure. First, to find the equation for IFT, let us use the simple mathematical identity. We know that at t is equal to 0 plus, the switch k is closed and L is open. The equivalent circuit drawn at t is equal to 0 plus is shown in figure. We observe that I of 0 plus is 0 as L is open. Similarly, at t is equal to infinity, switch k will remain closed, but L will be short as shown in figure. So, I of infinity is equal to 1 volt divided by 10 by 3 ohm, which will give us I of infinity is equal to 3 divided by 10 amperes. Now, we know I of 0 and I of infinity. Hence, using simple mathematical identity, I of t is equal to I of infinity plus into bracket I of 0 minus I of infinity into e to the power of minus t by tau, where tau is equal to L divided by R. By substituting the values of L and R, we get tau is equal to 0 0.15. Hence, 
using the mathematical identity and substituting the values and solving, we get i of t is equal to 3 divided by 10 into bracket 1 minus e to the power of minus 6.67 t. But we know v2 is equal to l into di by dt by substituting the values of l is equal to 0 0.5 henrys and differentiating i of t and solving it we get v2 of t is equal to e to the power of minus 6.67 t volts. Is it not simple friends? Friends, finally we shall solve at another simple problem to find the value of inductance of the relay shown in figure. It is given in the problem statement that the relay is adjusted to operate at a current of 5 amperes and the relay is found to operate at time t is equal to 0 0.347 seconds after the switch is closed at t is equal to 0. The strategy will be to find the equation for i of t for t greater than 0 and then substitute i of t is equal to 5 amperes and t is equal to 0 0.347 seconds and find the value of tau. Knowing tau is equal to L by R, find L. So, to find the equation for I of t, we shall use the simple mathematical identity used in the previous problem for which we have to find I of 0 and I of infinity. To find I of 0, we know that at t is equal to 0 plus, the switch is closed and L is open. So, i of 0 is equal to 0. But at t is equal to infinity, the switch is closed but L will be short as shown in figure. So, i of infinity is equal to 10 volt divided by 1 ohm which will give us i of infinity is equal to 10 amperes. By substituting the value of i of 0 and i of infinity in the mathematical identity, we get i of t is equal to 10 into bracket 1 minus e to the power of minus t by 2. But it is given that i of t is equal to 5 amperes and t is equal to 0 0.347 seconds when the relay operates. So, substituting the values in the equation, we get e to the power of minus 0 0.347 divided by tau is equal to 0 0.5. By taking the natural log on both sides and solving, we get L is equal to 0 0.5 Henry's. Is it not simple, friends? Friends, I hope that this tutorial has ignited some of your thoughts. If so, please forward your feedback and suggestions to my email. Thank you for watching this video.